Welcome back. So we are coming with the new interview question. So the interview question is like uh, based on certain condition you have to call the sections in a particular section means one section is embedding another section based on uh, one condition uh, based on some when rule or condition you have to show only uh, whatever the section is satisfied with the condition right so how do you do that so that was the uh, interview question so how do you do that means the first concept which comes in our mind is circumstancing and before that we would be second one we would be talking about visibility when okay so for example uh, there are some 10 sections so based on this based on the condition any one of the section should be shown to us so this comes in our mind either visibility condition uh, on a section or circumstancing but the problem with these two things is it has to check each and every uh, means before populating it or, or on the populate whenever it is populating on the screen it should check each and every circumstance rule because in pega rule resolution always first checks whether it is circumstance or not so first it goes with that and then it will take the base rule and in the same way in the visibility condition also it has to check each and every visibility condition and it has to show on the uh, screen so everything it has to check all the 10 sections or 20 sections whatever you're saying each and every visibility condition it should check so this will be coming into our mind but actually the answer is not circumstancing and not visibility condition then what it is you have to call a decision table in a decision table you need to write what condition it is based on that condition what should be the output and that output should be the section name and whenever you are calling your embedded section in that section you have to call using property reference instead of section name and call that property so this is what we have to do it so how are we going to do let's see okay so to explain this I'm going to take on state details case type so in this case type if I run this case type when I select Andhra Pradesh it will give me all the details about Andhra Pradesh when I select Arunachal Pradesh it gives me all the details of Arunachal Pradesh so this particular uh, area is another section so this section will be changed based upon the state name you select so how did we add that section into this current section or this total section so for that we need to create sections how many sections you want to show those many sections you have to create <coughs> so I have created those in state details user interface if you see over here I've created three states three sections here for for example I took only three uh, sections over here uh, which which will give me the details about Andhra Pradesh Arunachal Pradesh and Telangana and show state details is the one which the entire entire section it is so this is my section so in this section I called another section over here if you see over here this is a section so how did we add the section here click on plus data display embedded section select and here in the section instead of calling it as by name you have to call it as by property reference and call the property which it is fetch details so for that I created a new property which is called as fetch state info so fetch state info will capture uh, will have the section names then how it is how it is means for this we have to create a decision table so go to decision decision table so this is used to retrieve the section names so if you look over here when you select Arunachal Pradesh then it will give the output as Aruna when it is Andhra Pradesh it gives you Andhra and when it is Telangana it has to give Telangana so this is how you have to create the decision table
so only creation is not only the thing which we have to do right so we need to configure this so where do you configure so for that I went to the previous section where you got state name so open the cell properties action in the action whenever it gets changes I called this refresh this section event and action and in this you can see a data transform is called as you know that a decision table can be configured in data transform using obtain value function this is the obtain value function you can see over here so tools primary and the decision table is retrieve state info so based on this it gives you output and that output I'm capturing in the target fetch state info and this status info as I shown you is called on this section if you see over here, here section is by property reference and the source is the property which is dot fetch state info so now when I run this as per the name it gives me those only those details submit so this is how we have to explain the question which is asked in your interview thank you